Hello, this is Stuart from Rats Playground and today I am playing with a new game called Card Wars Kingdom which is the latest Adventure Time game. So there was a game called Card Wars which was Adventure Time characters playing cards and battling one another and now it's got a sequel which is bigger and better in many ways. And so I'm going to take you through the beginning, the kind of tutorial so you can see how it works and uh, let's go. Whoa man, am I dreaming you right now or are you dreaming me? man i'm you from the card wars kingdom and i'm here to teach us how to play dude we already know how to play card wars well we've never seen card wars like this so sit tight and i'll show you the ropes so i think the thing i like here is that even if kids haven't played the, the previous card wars game it teaches them how to play how it works and the kind of idea is you have decks of cards that are characters and kind of attacks and things and you have to play against someone and beat them it basically comes down to this. It's all about the creatures. Build your team, send them to battle, and claim the glory that is rightfully yours. Use your creatures to defeat mine. If you knock out all of your opponent's creatures on the board, you win and become the cool guy. I started a game with Bimo, but he rage quit. You can take over his team. These honeys here are your cards. You'll always draw a few random cards when you start the game. Tap the card to take a closer look. Now tap on the words. This biz is important. You can always find out about special moves and powers by tapping the card. There are many different creature elements in Card Wars. Everybody knows that. Like Blue Plains, Sandy Lands, Useless Swamp, Nice Lands, and my personal fave, Corn. So obviously there are a lot of references here to Adventure Time. So if you've watched it, um, I watch it, I love it on Cartoon Network, uh, your kids will know all the kind of the, the, the characters who are referenced, the places in it. Uh, it's really kind of um, sort of enmeshed in this world that they've created in the cartoon, which is a lovely place. Speaking of corn, corn creatures have high attack pools and do a ton of damage with drag attacks. Drag attack? Holy guacamole, what's that? Oh, a drag attack is just what it sounds like. Use your favorite fingers to drag from your creature onto one of my creatures. You'll attack and spin. Every time you do a drag attack, you get a new card. Cards allow you to cast spells, use abilities, and trigger larger attacks way better than drag attacks alone. Each creature has its own set of cards. So this kind of card, this, this is a genre of game, card battling, and it's really popular on tablets and smartphones. So there's a game called Hearthstone, which is based on the uh, World of Warcraft game, which is really popular, and there's a bunch of us like it. And a lot of these games are aimed at adults, and they're very complicated, and you have to kind of, you, you, you get your decks and build them, and it's very, it's not that they're child unfriendly, but they are quite complex. Whereas this is one of the first times to try and take that genre and make it really friendly for kids, without sort of dumbing it down. There's a lot of stuff in here too, but it's, it takes you through it and it kind of makes it understandable. So I think um, if you've played some of those games like Hearthstone, um, which is really good again, um, this is kind of introducing your children to that kind of genre. Uh, looks like you're out of energy. Press the button to end your turn. Dan. Tell you what, that purple pig was a bit of a sort, wasn't he? Goodness, he was quite tough. Ooh, Archer Dan got scrunk. You won't be able to use him for the rest of this battle. But your other guys can still fight. So use them together. Each turn your energy is refilled and grows. Let's bring in some backup. Drag that cool dog card onto the battlefield. Okay. So I'm gonna put a new character in. Bust out a drag attack to draw a card from its deck. <laughs> oh, nice! That's a magic attack card. Play it on your cool dog and target my ancient scholar. Oh, you lucky dog! You scored a critical hit. 
Crits do one and a half times more damage. So as you can see, everything is explained through the character of Jake, rather than there being an instruction manual. So kids kind of, they start playing it, and they learn bit by bit how the game works and what they have to do. So that's kind of introduced all the kind of the, the core battle, and then here's where I choose my um, date of birth. Uh, so I am going to pick. I'm going to pick a date of birth that isn't mine, obviously, because I'm putting this on YouTube. And you can log onto Facebook, obviously, for kids who are younger than Facebook age, they won't want to do this, but it's it's an option. Um, so again, I shall not say no to that. State your name. I think it's time you had a deck of your own. And here we go. So we were getting into the idea of card battling where you have to build a deck. So all those cards you saw in that battle um, are in your deck and you get to choose which cards you have in there. So the idea is you would then, as you unlock new ones, you can build the deck of um, stuff that corresponds to your playstyles, your favourite kinds of attacks, your favourite kind of characters and so on. So let's have a look. There are lots of different challenges to face in the arena. Each the first challenger is me. I want to take a look through these decks and pick the one you want by pressing it. So here we go, I'm actually tapping on these arrows at the bottom left to look at the different kinds of decks. So there's a corn team with big drag attacks, a blue plains team with energy and magic, and a nice lands deck with healing and beneficial bluffs. I think I might go back with the corn team. <laughs> That's what I started with. So I can tap on these cards to see what they do. So attack up. And a landscape. So I think I'll I'll try and Ah, or not. I have not enough energy. I can put him on. Okay, no so now I have to end my go, I think. So I can only attack once. Oh, 
So as you can see, it ends up being kind of a, a, a task of managing your resources. So I've now got four energy. So I can not play any of these ones with five in, but I can do attacks. So... That went quite well. And I get aggressive growth. And I've got one. Can I attack? I can't attack with one. Um, can I play that? There you go. Can I increase his attack as well. Which should mean next time they're quite tough. As you can see, it looks perfect. The adventure time well. The, the characters look just right. They're all sitting around the table, and it's kind of that, that weird meta game where the characters from Adventure Time are sitting around the table playing card battles, and then on the table itself are the kind of animated things that you're using. So now I have five. So what can this? Okay, this is landscape. So I think I might have to. Oh, lost kung fu manual. That looks quite fun. The power connect. Okay, and they've gone. Now I have to go and let them get me. Oh goodness. So each time I'm getting one more energy. If you can see at the bottom left, that's my energy sip. So what can I do? Okay. Attack is up. Can get them. Okay. Go again. There you go. So as you go, you progress through the game. It's very it's turn based, and each time you're kind of seeing what your opponent's going to come up with. So, it's coming up with quite a lot of good stuff for me. Mm. Play these cards to make myself even better. And then... I can check out how he's doing. Make his attack go up. I could even put someone else on, couldn't I? So as you, the more you go on, basically, the more you learn about what works in the game and how, therefore, how you can make best use of the different cards and characters. So there's a lot of depth to it. It's not like um, a really simple game. Like I said, it's not like a dumbed-down version of card battling for kids. It's really interesting. And now I have lots of energy. And hopefully I can finish. I keep thinking it's a sheep, but it's not. It's a giant eyeball. Oh man, I almost forgot. See that bar below your fortune? Oh, my flute meter. Here we go. So, ah, there you go. Oh, that might be a win, I think. It is. I'm just not very happy at all. Tide crash against the dawn of time. In the mighty kingdom of... <laughs> Level up! You get rank XP from winning battles, and ranking up will increase your maximum hearts and team power. This is explaining how the game works in terms of you progressing through the levels, unlocking new characters, and boosting your experience. So this is Card Wars Kingdom. It's, this is just the start of it, really. Oh, I've ranked up. There you go. Rank 2 
unlock the tree fort. Take a look at the decks I showed you earlier. Ah, here we go. The deck you want to play with, and it will be yours to keep. So I can have team one, which was corn, wasn't it? Team two, which was magic. And team three, which was healing. I might try magic, I think. Okay, enough joking around. Let's play for real. So that's the start, basically, of Card Wars Kingdom. It's really, it looks like a really interesting game and there's room to it. And all these other areas here that I haven't looked, locked, unlocked yet to figure out what they do. So I'm carry on playing. Um, this is a free download for iPhone, and iPad and Android. Uh, and then it uses in-app purchases, which haven't come in yet, but I think there will be um, purchases later on uh, of uh, to things that progress through the game, um, which will be optional, hopefully. Um, so I think carrying. We might do another video on this when we've got a bit further in to see how it works. But until then, you can get a scenario for Android. And if you like watching uh, our videos of children's apps, um, you can subscribe to this channel using the subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, and please let us know what you think with a comment. Like if you've played this game, or if you've played other Adventure Time games, or if you've played other car battling games. I think there's some good, good ones for kids. Um, love to hear from you in a comment. Thank you for watching, and we're back with another.